Almost every gasoline automobile on the road today has a four-stroke fuel injection engine. Let's take a look at how our four-stroke fuel injection engines work and get an inside look at where harmful engine residues and deposits come from. A gasoline engine relies on the mixture of air and petroleum fuel. The air is drawn into the engine from the outside atmosphere while liquid fuel is drawn from our fuel tanks. In a fuel injection engine, air is delivered to each combustion chamber through an air intake port, while gasoline is delivered by a fuel injector. To understand combustion, liquid fuel energy is transferred to mechanical energy by a series of four piston movements, or four strokes, of a piston. The first stroke, called the intake stroke, is the first downward movement of a piston. As the piston moves downward in the cylinder, the chamber's intake valve opens to allow the mixture of air and fuel to be drawn into the cylinder. On a port fuel injection system, the injector sprays fuel into the port before washing over the intake valve. With gasoline direct injection, fuel is injected directly into the cylinder. The second stroke, called the compression stroke, occurs as the intake valve closes and the piston moves upward, compressing the fuel-air mixture. As the piston approaches the top of the cylinder, a spark plug at the top of the chamber ignites the mixture, causing an explosion of expanding heat energy that forces the piston downward. This is the power stroke that turns the engine's crankshaft. On the fourth and final stroke, called the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve opens as the piston turns upward forcing burned gases out of the exhaust port and returning the piston to begin a new intake stroke. Now that we better understand how fuel combustion works, let's take a closer look at how petroleum residues and deposits form on engine parts. The gasoline and motor oils we use in our vehicles are made up of petroleum hydrocarbon molecules. Even though most of our fuel burns cleanly in the combustion chamber, small amounts of unburned fuel and oil start to accumulate as soft hydrocarbon residues. These residues can originate from evaporation, oil on valve stems, or as unburned vapor droplets from the oil crankcase and exhaust that are recirculated back through the air intake. When we shut off our engines, hot chamber evaporation leaves heavier residues while the lighter vapors rise back toward the throttle body to stick and form throughout the upper intake. Over time, petroleum residues build, and near combustion heat, these sticky, unburned deposits are baked onto intake valve surfaces, fuel injectors, and chamber areas. When added to fuel, seafoam motor treatment works through fuel injectors to clean hydrocarbon residues from injector nozzles, intake valves, and chamber areas. Seafoam spray works through the air intake's throttle body to deliver a high concentration of petroleum cleaning solvency to intake runners, intake valves, and chamber areas. Seafoam spray is particularly important when it comes to treating gasoline direct injection intake areas where fuel tank additives or injectors can't reach. When it comes to our fuel injected engines, seafoam motor treatment and seafoam spray work to help remove harmful engine deposits dissolve gum and varnish residues, clean intake valves, fuel injectors, and chamber areas, and lubricate upper cylinders. Using seafoam regularly helps keep your entire fuel system from tank to tailpipe running at peak efficiency. Seafoam motor treatment. No matter what moves you, seafoam works.